Okay, let's talk about unpacking this huge hog beast. We want to do this the right way, and we want to do it carefully so that we don't have any broken instruments, because when that happens, we can't make music, and we don't want that. So, first thing we're going to do always is remove the bow from the bow pocket, this piece right here. Now, my bows are in a case. Your bow may be placed loosely in that bow pocket, but we want to take that out first so that as we set the case aside, we don't end up breaking our bow. Okay, so take that bow out of there, and we're going to carefully set it on our music stand like that so that it's uh, not on the floor, it's not going to get broken. Okay, once we have that out, the first thing we're going to do is set the end pin. Now, for right now, I just want you to put this on the second or third notch. So we want this thumb screw right here, that little thumb screw on the end pin. We want that to go into maybe the second or third notch. And I'll show you how to set this up for your height later. But for now, we just need a little bit of space so that we can uh, get the case off. We want a little room between the base and the ground. So this provides that. So then you're going to have a short zipper and a long zipper. Right now my short zipper is up. Your case could be different. The long zipper could be on this side. But we want to release that short zipper. Okay, the base isn't going to fall out yet. And then we're going to stand the base up. Now you want to watch out for ceiling fans. This is off camera, but right above my head is a ceiling fan. And I want to make sure I don't stand the base up in that ceiling fan. So I'm going to take a step forward. All right, so I've got the base up. In fact, I'll step back so you guys can see me. Got the base in the upright position. Mine has a little strap here. Yours may or may not have this, but I'm going to go ahead and undo this strap so I can get to all the zippers. Now, this whole time, I'm keeping a firm grip on this case so that the instrument doesn't get away from me and fall and hit the floor. Okay, so then I'm going to rotate around where I can get to this big long zipper. Again, I've got a nice hold on the instrument. I'm going to reach down here. Find the beginning of that zipper. You can also kind of give yourself a head start right there. You saw how hard it was for me to reach that. You can give yourself a couple of inches. Don't do it too far, but a couple of inches there so that when you reach down, you can get to that zipper. And I'll pull that all the way until it reaches the end of the zipper, okay? Now, this is the important part. I'm going to reach in, and I'm going to firmly grab the neck of the base. So from now on, I've got to have at least one hand on the neck of that base when I go to remove the case. So, once I have that, I'm safe. I'm going to go ahead and bring it around this way. I'm going to peel the base case off of the base, front and rear, and then I'm going to pull it up so that I clear the scroll and get the case. For right now, I'm going to set the case right there, and in a moment, I'm going to put that out of the way so it's not in the way of my practice and... Uh, Nobody's going to trip on it and break their neck. Okay, so now we have the bass uh, um, out of the case and it's ready to play. Uh, when you're storing the bass, you saw when I started the bass was on the ribs. When the bass is not in the case, same thing. You want to always set the bass down on the ribs. A lot of people like to set the bass down flat on its back. What that does is it puts pressure on the neck joint right here. Uh, and under the right circumstances, you can pop the neck off very easily. So we want to make sure we always set it on the ribs. And I always set it on the left side ribs because that way my end pin adjustment is facing up. So if I ever need to adjust my end pin, it's very easy to get to. I see a lot of students set it on the right side of the ribs, and then it's very awkward for them to set up the end pin. So I'm always going to set it up on the left side like this. Okay? So let's say that you're done playing. Um, or you need to take a little break, but you're not ready to pack up the bass, which is ideal. You really want to pack up the bass when you're done playing with it. That's the safest. It keeps your little sister out of it, uh, all of that stuff. But if you do need to temporarily store the instrument, because uh, a lot of you, you know, I've got a studio here, but a lot of you won't have enough room to leave the bass sitting out, and that would be a dangerous thing to do anyway. Uh, so you can set it in a corner, with some cabinets, you have to be very careful when you set your base up in a corner. This is probably where, when a student tells me I broke my base at home, this is a lot of times what happens. They try to set it on a chair 
prop it up like this or set it on their stool and then it falls down and breaks. Never do that. We don't want to set it up on a chair or a piece of furniture. Uh, you can put it in the corner. So I'm going to face the fingerboard toward the corner and I'm going to make sure that the end pin is a couple of feet out from that corner so that the base leans in to the corner. We don't want it standing straight up and down because then it can tip back on the fall. And then I'm going to take a second and make sure that the base is stable there because I think what happens a lot, and I've actually seen this at school, a student will kind of chunk the base up on the rack and then turn and walk away, and behind them they hear the most god-awful, heart-sickening crash of that base uh, exploding into pieces behind them. So make sure, once you do set in the corner, that it's stable, it's going to stay there. Okay, don't just toss it in and walk away. All right? So base is going to lean into the corner, fingerboard goes toward the corner. Okay, uh, if you're going to do that. Now, packing up is the exact reverse of unpacking. I'm going to leave that end pin out. Uh, I see a lot of students try and set the base case on the ground and then try and shove the base in there. Uh, and I just feel like I'm getting old watching them. This is a lot quicker and I think a lot safer. Okay, so I've got the base neck firmly in one hand. I've got the case in the other. All right. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to kind of stick my elbow in there. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm keeping the case open so I can shove the scroll back in. Because remember, the scroll is the last thing to come out. So remember, packing up is the exact reverse. So the scroll is the first thing to go in the case. So I'm going to lift it up, over, and tuck the scroll in there. All right. Now, instead of peeling the case off, I'm now wrapping the case around the base. Now. Very, very important. The front of the base case, which should match the front of the base, is always this bow pocket right here. So you should have, it could be over here or it could be over there, but there should be a bow pocket on the front of the case which will match the side of the base of the bridge, okay? A lot, I see a lot of students try and shove their base in backwards and then they can't zip it up and they don't know what's going on and they're late for class. Okay, so make sure that you have the bow pocket in the front. All right, once I get these sides pulled around the base, I can now get my hand out of the case so that I can zip it up. And notice I'm keeping control of this, so I don't drop it. I've got one firm grip on the case now, and I'm going to zip as far as I can. Okay, and then on my case, like I said, I'm going to put this strap back. Yours may not have this, but if it does, I would use it for security. Now I can lay the base down gently on that rib. And again, notice I set it on the left rib so that I can get to the end pin. I'm going to go ahead and retract that end pin because we don't want to walk around with the base with the end pin out ever. So as long as you play the base, you always want to put the end pin out before you start walking around. Okay? And then I can finish completely zipping it up. Make sure when you zip it up, the end pin is still sticking out. I see some students will completely zip the end pin inside of the case, and then that end pin will tear up the zippers in the case and it won't work anymore. So the end pin should stick out of the case and you want to zip up right next to it, nice and snug like that. When we walk around with the base, we always want to have two hands on it. Okay? We have one to control the neck, and usually there's a hand strap here or this one down here. And now I can easily walk around with the base. And again, uh, going in reverse, the bow is the, la the first thing we pulled out when we're unpacking, right? So the last thing to go back when we pack up is our bow. We're going to carefully tuck that in, tip first. And we're trying not to touch the hair at any time. I'll explain that later. We talk about caring for the instrument. And then two hands, and again, I'm going to make it two feet out from the corner. I'm going to put the bridge facing the corner. Make sure the base leans, and then I'm just going to check and make sure that it's staying there. It's not going to fall out. And that way, I still have my bedroom space, uh, and nobody's going to step on my instrument. Okay? Well, that is unpacking. Toting around the instrument uh, and packing it back up. Please let me know if you have any questions or let your teacher know. Thanks.